Sink. Sawate. This is Jeff, and we are. Well, and, and this is David. And David. That's David. That is indeed David. Uh, and we will be playing more Equinox. This is the last and final part of the pirate ship. Hooray! Where we fight the giant ninja. Yes. Ninja. Alright, we're gonna do some more balancing on the head action. Uh, yeah, you just, if you push the block a little bit, that way you can scrape it off your head. <laughs> Um, and you'll be able to make it over the, the, the stone delicious, range. yeah, this little archway there. Uh, this is the reason we needed the green key. Uh, this is a, this is actually a pretty well designed room. Those ghosts are red herrings. They are completely unnecessary. Everything in this room is basically a red herring. You think some, this is going to be some really complicated, Yeah. you have to like get it on top of his head and then right around the room. No, you just push it off a little bit, but not all the way. And then just jump. That's it. That's it. Oof. Those those are just to make those are just to waste your time. That's all that is. That's all there is to it. it their their sole purpose is just to make you think this, that it's harder than it is. This dungeon is just basically it's 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 tra it train the game trains you to believe that a certain thing would happen, and then this is just you know it's breaking it down. And saying, it's like no, it's nope. not as complicated as you're making it. What are you stupid? <laughs> yeah. And then Glendale goes, Rah! Yeah. Which, you know, is his only dialogue, so. I mean. That, that is his only dialogue? Yeah. There. So, I mean, he might actually be, like, agreeing with you. You're like, hey, Glendale, do you like. I heard that you like uh, coffee ice cream. <laughs> okay. It could... That's not helpful, but okay, Glendale. <laughs> slidey be... block, slidey block. It might be Galadonian for. Yes, like, or how aloha is hello and goodbye. Yeah, it might be a standard Galadonian greeting. Uh, there's not too... Hey, hey, look. Hey, 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 look. Hey, look. Look what I can do. He... Okay. We're back on top of the deck. Uh, just this is the final area of the game. Uh, this leads okay. around to... There's some invisible blocks there. Right. Uh, this is getting... This is the room that has... This one right here is what has the glitch that will prevent you from beating the game. So what happens is that red ghost is now dead. So let's go out and back in. Uh, the ghost is gone. The ghost is gone forever. This pushable block is supposed to be on the ghost's head so that you can get back across the spikes, but he disappears once you kill him. Uh, and if you don't have all the tokens, then... Or, or a red key, because if you have a red key, which I'll show in a second here, you can get back through I, I died. You, <laughs> you can get back. Uh, I'll, I'll comment more on that when we get to the little side uh, side side track here. This is a really really hard room because it pushes you up on the floor. The floor is always pushing you up, but the box is pushing you down and right. Wow. So it requires a little bit of. You have to get really close to the uh, spikes in the lower left corner there. It's kind of frustrating. Yeah. Plus, you have to make it there before the uh, the token does. Otherwise, it'll just slip off. And stay in the spikes. And... Uh, in which case, you could do a token jump off of it. I think that might work. Uh, but again, that's really hard to do. So this is just a little bit easier than that. Okay. Finally made it. All right. We have one more token to go. And there's another, another white potion. <laughs> so we'll fill our top ourselves off, and we're ready to go. Uh, this is the entrance to the boss room to the upper left there. Um, okay. After you wait for the second bounce on the portcullis, just run away through. Uh, here's an interesting glitch that I found out. Okay, so let's walk down here. These spikes cause instant death. Now I'm pressing up against it while jumping. And nothing happens. But if you just jump without pressing up against the wall there, then you die. So it's yeah, it's completely useless. I mean, there's no reason. I mean, I'm just just an observation. So These are pushy blocks, though. <laughs> <laughs> of course they're yeah. Pushy of blocks. course they're pushy blocks. All right. This will lead to our, our last token room and also the passage that goes back to the uh, red gate. So that if you don't have the red key, you're screwed. Yes, yes, you are. Uh, all right, we will we will we will be needing to use our 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 massively strong turban head in order to balance that box all the way to the top of the room. We catch it right there, ride this box up, and scrape it off our head ever so slightly. 
and then push it into position, and then we can finally jump across and get the final token for the pirate ship. So you get to go far. Hooray! All right. Now, right here, I'm going to take a detour. A little pause here. Bloop. There we go. All right. This will lead to the passage that if you did have the red key, you would be able to get back, assuming you didn't have all the tokens, get back to the lower decks. Uh, but first, let's have fun with screwy physics. <laughs> Yay. Let's see what happens when we push too many objects together in an engine that can't handle it. Let's see, let's just wedge ourselves in between it and let's try and escape. What? And yeah, then push I know, the right? Wall. It's just don't, just don't even bother with it. You don't even have to bother with it. I don't even know why these are here. I think that they're specifically... It's it's specifically to kind of mess you up if you're coming from that way. White apple. Yeah. Uh, oh, almost got it, almost got it. Yeah. This one is not... There's no pushy blocks here, though. This is not not as hard. You just have to make sure you're at the very edge, and you can usually make it. There you go. Uh, all right, this will go back into the lower decks. That's what that mysterious door means. Cool. What? Uh, wait. Uh, wait. What? Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Um, jump on top of this right as it gets on there, and then that brings us back to the red gate. Uh, this is one way. Uh, you will not be able to make it back through that way. You have to go all the way through. I mean, we've seen this area before, so right. we're back here with the red ghost. Uh, not red ghost, the green ghost. Um, green and ghost? that, yeah, the green ghost. The white people. Yeah. Ironically, we've called them three different colors now. Okay, and we're back. A little snip. Snip! Yay. Now we will go fight the boss of the pirate ship, which is not a ninja. Sorry to disappoint you. Should have been a ninja. No, not really. That is a bizarre sound that the Zap made. There's too many portcullis. Portcullai. Colliding. Portcolliding. So it's probably a, like, skeleton pirate. It's a skeleton pirate, yes. Yep. Okay. That is true. That is what it is. I was hoping for an injury, because that would have just been, like, the real boss got killed this by This is an actual boss fight that took me a few tries, because uh, our little spot is not the best way to kill him. Because we will... He has a huge cannon, though. So that's fun. That's a giant... That's a giant... This, this is Billy Bones! Billy, Billy Bones. Bones! Nice. This is his name. Uh, if you just stand up here, adjust slightly, and continue mashing on the fire button, you'll be pretty pretty safe. Um, the only thing that's tricky that I died a few times on is you have to get his pattern down because sometimes he'll be on the upper right Sometimes he'll be on the upper left, and it's not like you have a lot of room to dodge so. Yeah, you're not the like super fast yeah. on your feet. No, not really guy. These Glendal is very chill even when fighting horrible monsters. Yeah, he's like are you gonna run? You think just so show some hustle? No, nope. nah, I'm cool. I'm yeah, cool. I'm cool. I'm just. I've got an infinite stream of maces pouring out of my face. I'm okay. Yeah. Which I mean, you know, given I guess if, would fairly be fairly confident if you could do that. I you wouldn't really worry about a lot of things. Uh, as you can uh, as you can start to see here, his uh, let's see, is that the yeah his color is already red. Yeah. He's very very near death. He's a very quick boss, which is good because he's kind of boring. <laughs> Just I will just continue mashing cannon. the fire button, and he will very, very quickly... We will see the end of Billy Bones. One more. Come on. Get, get him. Yeah. There we go. And there he, he is. He collapsed into way more bones than he was. Well, you know. <laughs> so that is the end of uh, Billy Bones. Now we can finally sail across the sea uninterrupted, I guess. I mean, you'd, you'd assume that he could maybe just hide out or stow away. And, yeah, you would have. But no, nah, that's not how Glendal Your rolls. Valor is now I'm going to assume that it was supreme. It's supreme. That's good. Yeah. I'm going to assume that it was a Galadonian ship that was taken over by the ghosts, and as a matter of pride, he had to clear off all the monsters. That or the fact that Glendal only really knows how to respond to situations with kill it. What is this? This frozen island that looks suspiciously like a skull. We will find out when we explore the final dungeon on Let's Play Equinox.